Good morning everyone. I'm just going to try and position this camera a little bit better. Hopefully that's okay and you can see what I'm doing here. Now, what I've got here is some trimmings, some flowers, some leaves, butterfly, some uh, trim to go across this little heart. Now I did show this the other day and said so I'll come back and show you how to do it. It is a bit of sewing but it, and it's very quick and very easy. Um, some butterflies and just some bits and pieces. Now I might not use it all but I will be using some of it. I'm going to use black thread so that you can see. That's the only reason why I'm doing that and I can hide that later. Oh and by the way I just wanted to share that with you. My bling bling uh, coat hanger. Gorgeous. Pearl and roundels but that's fantastic and will look nice in a project somewhere. You're going to need some wadding because we shred that. If you've got the shredded wadding, that's fine. It's easier for you to use. Scissors, needle and thread, a marker. I'm using a marker because I'm showing you how to do it. But when you do it, you could use, you know, your uh, fabric pens or something like that. Um, and the other thing was we needed. <coughs> so let's get going. Now, what I've done is you just cut a square of fabric. Well, it's not even a square, but, you know, as big as your heart that you need. See, so that will fit perfectly. Uh, don't work with anything more than that. Only work with what you need because it's you're going to be handling it to sew. And it's easier if you're almost uh, down to the size you need. Now, what I've done is I've just cut myself a heart. Now, this was smaller for this one. See? So I'm going to do one a little bit bigger. You put your material. I'll make sure I've got it right way around. There we go. Now, you need inside of the material on the inside against the felt. So choose your favourite or a piece of fabric. You've got your felt, pop that on to the back of the material. I'm just using this as a guide again and I'm going to mark mine out. I mean you can use chalk or whatever it is that you need but I'm just going to mark mine out like that. Of course uh, you want one that will either disappear eventually or it'll wash or whatever but um, right now I'm going to do that and that's how I'm going to have mine so I'm ignoring this little one that I did here it was just a guide and then I'm just going to flip that over uh, like that I'm not sure I've got that straight-ish and just maybe I've not gone out enough we'll see Oops, pop that back where it needs to be, like that, does that look right, doesn't look right mine somehow, well uh, bring it out a bit more, that's better, that's my heart and I'm fine with that. I'll just ignore that little bit there. So that's the guideline that I'm going to be sewing on. Now we're going to be doing a back stitch. Now like I say I'm using a black thread only because it's easier for you to see. Now you can do this on the machine if you want to and then hand stitch the last portion. But we need to sew around that and leave about an inch and a half there. And that's all you need to do. So, and I'm going to use a back stitch. So first of all I'm just going to go through the front of the material there and do a couple of small stitches to start with just here okay like that and then right so there I've got my stitches to start me off and then what you do is I've done the first stitch and I'm going back towards that one so put your needle back towards that and then you want to bring it in front of this last uh, the first stitch you did like so again put your needle where it came up before and then you come up in front of that stitch again
and that's what we're going to be doing is just to give it a back stitch and it doesn't have to be perfect i would suggest to do small stitches only because um it's less likely and i'm using a double thread uh, less likely to uh, come undone so we're just going to do small stitches Right, we're back to doing this. Now, I've got round as far as that. And as you can see, it's the same both sides. And we're leaving about an inch and a half gap. Now, what you need to do then, pop that to one side. And then you need to take hold of some of the wadding. Um, and I cut mine into small strips. Uh, small pieces. Just, you know, just trim a load off. like that because you do need to shred it if you've got the shredded stuff that's fine but I don't have that so I'm just going to shred this like that and then what you do is you start and you um, I'm just going to get a tool that I need to put that in I'm just going to get a few bits and pieces. I don't need to shred it that much. It's just to stop it feeling bulky. You know, any hardness in it. I can just push that in. I'm going to use my fingers to start with just to plump up the cushion here. Doesn't take long to do, really. Right, and I just put the next bit in. These are really simple to make. I mean, don't forget, I'm using black thread because I'm showing you. Excuse me a minute. Sorry about that. It was Ray. <laughs> oh, dear. And for those of you who don't know, new ones to the website, Raymond's got a very good habit. Um, he is extremely good at it. Um, of calling when I'm filming and you will often hear in many of my videos I'm filming <laughs> because <sighs> he just does <laughs> I think he uh, he's got a little clock in his head or something it goes off when I'm filming or somebody somewhere <laughs> I don't know how he does it oh she's filming Ray ringer 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 Oh, we don't hide anything on these videos. We, as you, you know, as we you see us and hear us is as we are. There's no airs and graces on this site. We're down to earth, general people. That's it. S uh, mistakes and all. So I'm just padding that out really nicely. A little bit more in the centre there. Uh, and there we go. So we've got our heart like that. Now all I'm going to do is just to finish stitching that. Now remember, don't just go stitch it straight away. Pull the fabric. You must pull it because you get that... Um, you don't get any puckering in it. Never mind if it goes flat here because you're going to puff this out in a minute. But just remember to pull your fabric back into shape. Hopefully I've got enough thread to finish. And like I say, if you're not a sewer, it, just try it. It doesn't matter. And I've not done mine perfect because I'm just really quickly showing you how to do this to get this video done.
there we go so we've got this heart done now there we go just catch a stitch here in there that will do I'm just gonna cut that off put my needle in my dish so I don't lose it now we just move this about so you've got the shape that that's it that's fine see and then what you do is you leave a lip on it now it's already got a lip here because um, I need to add lace so we just cut I mean you could use um, oh god Got the column now. Oh, where the back is exact? Do you know I can't remember at all. I have so much on my mind and trying to remember everything I've got to do that I just can't think of things and I'm getting really frustrated with myself because you know running a business is not an easy job. <laughs> you do have to remember an awful lot of things. And yes, I could do look, I haven't left enough space there, but it doesn't matter. Um I could use a notepad. Well, I do use notepads. I have notepads all over the place. Okay, so we've got that. We'll just remove that. Okay, so that's our little heart. It doesn't matter if it's not quite shape, uh, in the right shape. I'm just going to trim this one a little bit more. That'll do. I've got the glue gun on because I'm going to use the glue for the lace. Well, here's the lace. I'm going to do that next. Now, we're going to cover this. So, straight away, we just glue that on and start in the centre of the heart at the top. Okay, so you can see that. Um, and I'm going to use the stitching as a guide of where I'm going to put the lace. Like that. Now, I know I've always said gather when you're going around a corner. Uh, gather when you're going around a corner. Well, you do have to gather it when you're going around a corner. But gather it when you're going around here. But this is already gathered and flat lace. And I want it flat. I don't want to gather that anymore. So, um, like that and then what i'm going to do is just trim that off and glue that down like that and you've got a beautiful little heart and it's so simple this you can hide yourself you can put some more lace on the other side if you wanted to and i could go around that again and it will just hide that perfectly use a in fact, let's do that. I think we'll do that. We'll use a broader lace. I'm just going to trim that and just glue that bit down. See? And then, oh, look, isn't that pretty? So we've gone even better. And it does make it look bigger as well, doesn't it? 
So add a bit more lace. You could even do a third layer and that would be absolutely fantastic. So all I did then, and with this one I think I'm going to put these flowers on because I just love them. Um, I just They're just fabric flowers. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue here and there. I'm going to sit these in here. It doesn't have to be perfect whatsoever. Uh, like that. Hmm. Let me have a look. See, I could pop. I'm going to do that. I just it's just to show you. I mean, you can do whatever you like. I'm going to pop that on there. I did have a just to put a little bit of glitter on it, a glam. I do have a crystal pearl drop. See, it looks pretty. <coughs> you can add some beading around here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just, I've got some of my beautiful, this is back in ladies. I mean, it's been one of the best sellers this. Because it's absolutely elegant and chic. Perfect. And I'm just going to go straight across the side at the, the top like that. And pop this on like that. Perfect. And if I just wanted to glam it up a little bit more, I could add a nice glittered butterfly shape the wings a little bit oh i'm just going to put that there like that You know, you could just do anything with them. Anything at all. So I hope that helps. And look, don't they look pretty? That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.